Welcome to today's episode of Thriver TV, where we discuss quantum tools and understanding so that you can heal for real from narcissistic abuse in accelerated timeframes from the inside. If you want to thrive and not just survive, I want you to write thrive on in the comments. Because this means that you're serious about wanting to rise from the ashes and take back your sanity, your soul, and your true life. It's one of those days you can probably hear the dogs barking in the background. All right, this mic's pretty good though. I will press on. And if you wish to join our community of 80,000 thrivers, global thrivers, just write NL in the comments because by doing so, you receive a message to your inbox, which is about free supportive content, stories of healing and powerful thriving tools. And if you're watching this on YouTube in the replay, please don't write NL in the comments. Instead, refer to the link in the description that will get you there. Okay, so today we are going to explore why you were narcissistically abused. And this is a really controversial topic and people may go, well, I can, I don't want to feel shamed and blamed. And it's not about that. It really isn't. I feel passionate about giving you the deep spiritual quantum truth about this rather than just surface explanations, because ever since 2007, I've understood that there is much deeper truths to this that do set us free. Now, at the surface level, of course, many people are going to tell you that you've been narcissistically abused because you're a good, loving, caring person. And narcissists, as takers, they're all about and they're after the goodies that you offer. And this is 100% true that narcissists seek out people who prop up their egos, those who are attractive or personable or conscientious, capable, people that keep the fires burning and allow narcissists to be narcissists and people who are really nice, good people who care, who have empathy and are really loyal. That's a really big thing about People with narcissists, they're loyal. They don't give up on people. They hang in there. They give them the benefit of the doubt and they keep loving them. Okay, all of these things are true. Yet those reasons don't actually give you your emancipation, your freedom, your empowerment, or your liberation from toxic people. It just doesn't. The deeper, truer reason, okay, so all of that, if you're told that it's about that, well, then we still feel powerless and we still think, well, how do we feel better about that? Like it's just awful, but how do we feel better? How do we heal? How do we recover? The deeper, truer reason that I'm going to grant you today actually does give you emancipation, freedom, etc. But before I grant you that reason, please, I encourage you to share this video while we're live or while watching the recording so that others who are still really stuck in the trauma and especially those who sense that there are much deeper soul truths going on in the world can actually hear them because it's very important what's going on on a micro and a macro level. And also please, you know, like this video, hit the hearts, add your comments, because this all helps the algorithms push this message of hope out there. So what if mm -hmm. there was no mistake that you and this person came together? What if this was always actually about your 
grand evolution and ascension opportunity. Today's discussion is about a war between light and dark, between consciousness and unconsciousness, humanity and narcissism slash psychopathy. So let's unpack this one step at a time. You are a spiritual electromagnetic being, <clears throat> excuse me, in a flesh suit, and your soul, your source force, the part of you that is connected to your higher self, which you may know as universal forces, prime creator, or even all that is, is the enormity of who you really are. And you may have sensed those moments when you feel spacious and you, can, you feel connected, you feel at peace inside and you feel love and joy arise. You may have had those moments. Most people have. Okay, if you've had those moments, just say me in the comments. And what if I was to tell you that this is your true essence it is your organic self when you're free from false programming and internal trauma. What if you are on a soul mission on planet Earth to release false programming, fear, pain and suffering, not just for yourself but for the collective? What if? Have you ever felt inside of you a sense that there's got to be some reason to this let me know in the comments if you have i know that many of you watching this do sense deep inside that there is a purpose not just for this but for you and that your life was not meant to be taken out by the darkness of narcissistic abuse. And maybe that's why it feels so painful and so wrong because some part of you knows that that's actually not who you are. It's not how it was meant to go down. So let's continue. Let's go deeper with this. When you came down to planet Earth, you underwent amnesia. And I could do a whole topic on that as well, but for now, we'll leave it there. And this amnesia is a forgetfulness as you came into this third density matrix. You forgot that you are an eternal being having reincarnation experiences for the purpose of your soul evolution. And even if you have remembered this, you may have forgotten the truth of who you really are, which is pretty magnificent and amazing. You are a fractal of source, prime creator, all that is. You're larger than what you could know, but rather you received all of the programming to believe that you were shameful, wrong, bad, defective, and even evil, and you were taught that to think you're at one with all that is would be your hubris. It would be egotistical. It might even be narcissistic. What has this all got to do with a narcissist and narcissistic abuse? Actually, everything at a micro and a macro level there are individuals who are anti-source, anti-prime creator and anti-humanity and don't want to be in unity consciousness and instead they want chaos, pain and divide and conquer. That's actually the narcissistic model. And rather than wanting to nestle into the truth, I am at one with source, prime creator, and all that is, their belief is 
I don't want to share exaltation with anyone or anything else. I want total dominion over all of it. I'm the king God. That's narcissism. This is the very basis of separation consciousness, that we're not one and therefore you are nothing but a tool for me to exploit to get ahead. You're an object for me to mine and use. Now I'm going to put this forth. My total belief is that the majority of people who've been narcissistically abused are not just here for personal soul evolution. They're here to assist humanity's evolution from darkness to light. And you may have sensed that you're here for something big, and I hope you do, because it's true. And it shocked you that you got sidelined and you got smashed by a narcissist. And you may believe, well, now that just isn't possible because look at where my life ended up. But what if I were to tell you that this is actually all on schedule and it's because you've gone through this horrific experience that your true mission now is in fact possible. Not with this broken version of yourself, but with the rebirthed, exalted true self that now awaits you. Now we're going to go even deeper. Let me know if this is resonating with you in the chat. Just say yes. If some part of you cellularly remembers this truth. Okay. Now I want you to open your heart and mind to the following information that I'm about to share. And I know many of you thrivers are already aware of this, but maybe this is the first time you've heard this information. I believe virtually all star seeds, and these are people that I believe at a soul level chose to come here to help humanity ascend. And I believe that these are people, we're going to go through this, what a star seed is. Okay, so virtually all starseeds experience great, great trepidation, pain and darkness in their human lives, namely narcissistic abuse. It's not a random thing. It's a soul contract event. I'm going to explain more about the soul contract part in a bit. So what is a starseed? A starseed is a human who has roots from another place or dimension. I relate to being Syrian. Many of you may recognize your nature as being more Palladian or Andromedan or Arcturian. And if you have an open heart and mind to this information, if you Google, if you research starseeds and read up on the different varieties, you may deeply resonate with a version that does resonate with your nature. The following is very consistent with star seeds, and you may relate to this to start off with. You know from a very young age that something is wrong with planet Earth. You feel people's energies intensely, often sensing their darkness, and you feel like you don't fit in. You may feel that violence is abhorrent and you can't watch violent movies. You just feel like that's crazy. You can't watch those movies because how do people do that to each other? I've actually always felt like that. You may prefer the company of animals rather than people. 
Star seeds are usually the black sheep of their third density family, their unconscious family, and they're usually the ones that call out the issues that are in the family, the things that just aren't right, and even on the planet. You speak about that and people in your family don't want to know. Do you relate to this? If you relate to this, as countless people in this community do, so many, I can't tell you how many, you are not alone. You are a starseed. Yet you landing here, planet Earth, was not a mistake. You are not meant to get taken out by the darkness. You're not meant to give up. And you're not meant to be beamed up and go back home. You're part of the movement to transform yourself and planet Earth and humanity into heaven on Earth. It hasn't been easy for a starseed because you can't just slip into 3D unconscious life and find it palatable. You can't turn a blind eye. You can't fall asleep. You can't just go along to get along. It's not in your nature and it's not your evolved spiritual DNA. Over the centuries, we've been banging around here on planet Earth from lifetime to lifetime with our souls being assaulted by the traumatic insanity that occurs in separation consciousness. People against people, destroying and desecrating people with barbaric atrocities. These are things that a civilized planet and species could never do. And they could only ever do that if they'd been programmed out of unity consciousness, which is the deep understanding that you and I are one. And if I do something to you, I do that to me. And we got taken out by the trauma. We absorbed it. We kept re reincarnating back on the karmic third density wheel of pain, fear and suffering. And we kept having experiences with anti-prime creator individuals who were after our source force energy. Those individuals deny and despise prime creator because they want to be God. They don't want to merge with all that is prime creator. However, they need life force to exist and we're batteries for them to use, abuse, mine, exploit and throw away when they're finished emptying us out. That's what narcissism is and you've experienced it. Now, in amongst this battle of light versus dark, the greatest resurrection is not just possible, it's probable when we awaken to what's really been going on, when we awaken to all of this. And I know for a fact that when I had a life between lives regression session, that this lifetime because of falling short in previous ones, I wanted more than anything to come back to planet Earth, experience dark situations, to bring me to my knees, to turn inwards and rebirth myself home. Otherwise, I would have just kept on going in my own weird, unfulfilled reality trying to do life as a starseed, as normal. Normal meaning we're programmed to believe that we have no internal power and we must acquiesce to external forces, that handing over our sovereignty is good for us. And after we're victimised and traumatised, the best we can do is manage these symptoms and can never free ourselves from them. All of it is a lie. Many people, notably starseeds 
and there are so many in this community, it's just gorgeous and amazing, are waking up out of this programmed third density slumber of separation consciousness especially now because we're in a fast track ascension time in humanity towards 5D unity consciousness where all everything that is out of integrity with life force and prime creator is coming up for those shadows to be exposed and released. That's why things are so crazy out there right now. The same is true for our internal traumas and false programs. Narcissism is being exposed and purged on planet Earth. And this is why the narcissists and, and sociopaths in your life are popping. They're doubling down. They're becoming unbearable. They don't want to let go and merge with unity consciousness because that takes honesty humility and kindness of the heart. To do that would be to lose their defense systems and their false self. The identity they've constructed for themselves, that is not, I am a fractal of source prime creator, all that is. I'm a separating God king or queen. Your individual experience of narcissistic abuse is a microcosm of the macrocosm. So what is your salvation in all of this? What is it? It's your thriving. It's your rising. It's your reconnection to the truth. Stopping, feeding into the lie that the outside is your salvation. Rather, healing your inside and connecting back to you and prime creator. The gateway is through your inner being. That's your truth. We're so fortunate in this community because with quantum freedom healing, which is the healing component of the Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Program, which is NARP, you can shed the false programs and the traumas that have assaulted your soul so that you emerge toxic trauma free as the bright true essence that you already are that was just buried underneath all of those painful layers of trauma and false programming. And then when you emerge, you become a way shower. Now, you're not a traumatized victim calling out narcissism, which just energetically feeds the entire beast system more energy to operate against you and everybody else. Rather, you've escaped the matrix of fear, pain and suffering and are a thriving example of how others can be that too. There is even more to this regarding the importance of your personal mi mission by raising your vibration and healing yourself, you affect the entire field. You raise the consciousness and the vibration of others. And this helps planet Earth rise out of third density, fear, pain, suffering and separation consciousness into fifth dimensional freedom. When you remember who you are and you effort and make it your mission to go trauma-free from the inside and take your authenticity back, take your light back, darkness has zero power over you. That's the most amazing thing when you're sovereign. It just doesn't. And you ignite humanity at large into the same. So all of this is a part of a larger mission. It's a spiritual soul mission of light where you as a soul energy wanted to be a part of the Ascension movement. And the truth is you were meant to submerge into the deepest darkness 
to discover the truth about yourself, to mine your gold, to free yourself from trauma and rise into your highest self, heaven on earth. And this time, you won't be persecuted or harmed for being you, yourself. The energy shifted. We're in a different we're in a different timeline now. We're in a higher vibrational timeline. This is the lifetime that you have the backing of Source Prime Creator in this fifth density, fifth density reality. So no matter how this looks, you actually are in the most exciting time in humanity to be alive because this time the light wins. But it can only win in your personal experience if you take the responsibility and put in the effort to become the light within you. There is nothing and nobody outside of you coming to save you. We can show you how to do that and help you with all the tools and support, but the work is yours. Your power is in doing this for yourself. So I hope that today's deep message has strongly resonated with you, that something inside of you, just have an open heart and mind, can sense and feel that this resonates, that there had to be a reason for this. Because without reasons, we're just a victim, we're powerless to heal, we're powerless to grow, we're powerless to evolve. When there's a reason, we can do something about it. Please leave any further questions or comments and I'm going to do my best to respond to them. And if you enjoyed this talk, please like, follow, share. And if you're seeing it on YouTube, subscribe. And also to my Facebook channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates for the YouTube watchers. So Thank you for being a part of our thriving community. And please know it is probable that you will heal for real in accelerated timeframes from the inside when you have the right tools, support, guidance and wisdom, which is exactly what our wonderful community provides. And for those of you interested in NARP, you will see the link in my bio or you can go to melanietonievans.com forward slash N-A-R-P, which is our core healing program that addresses all of this. So I really hope this has touched your heart and your soul. I want you to have hope and I want you to keep healing, keep smiling and keep thriving because there is nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye-bye.